Hey guys, it's Mitch from We in Tennessee. Today's video, I want to talk about the places that my family and I, when we knew we were going to move to Tennessee, we thought, hey, we need to visit these places before we, we leave. They're just sentimental. Um, you know, if this was a one and done where we don't come back, we would just love to be able to go to these places. So, you know, we sat down and we're like, okay, we have so much time left, so much money. If we had to visit some places, what, you know, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? So the number one place that we thought, hey, we have to go to this place before we leave is Disneyland. We've just always been huge Disneyland fans. Um, I've been going there since I was a kid. We had season passes when my kids were like five and we're like, why are we doing this? Oh, because we, you know, we love the place so much. And so we decided, hey, we need to go back there one more time enjoy everything that we loved about the park. I personally love Splash Mountain. It's just one of my favorite rides. My family loves Indiana Jones, um, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. So we just thought, hey, we had to go back and enjoy the park. Uh, one of the disappointing parts was we wanted to definitely get on the um, Rise of the Resistance. Man, we were so desperate. We were like, please, this, the ride was broken down. They were like, you, you can stay in line and, and hope that it reopens. And it just never reopened for us. And we were like, okay, that was the one bummer part. Um, but we had a great time at Disneyland. Um, it was really tiring because the tram at that point was not working. So we had to walk from our car, the parking lot all the way we're used to getting the tram and then at night that was brutal because then we had to walk all the way back and it was just our luck that the car the the place where they had us park was the farthest point in the parking lot and you know anyway it ended on a good note though as far as just being able to see everything that we wanted to besides rise of the resistance um, but it was just a good family day and a, a day to enjoy the park and be able to say, hey, this was our one last shot and we enjoyed it. So it was a great day um, to go to Disneyland. The number two, we are real, our family is, we're just outdoor enthusiasts. So we wanted to go to Joshua Tree. We love national parks. If you guys haven't seen my national parks videos, I'll put some of the links at the end of this video to it. Um, but we wanted to go to Joshua Tree because it was, number one, it was the closest. Number two, we just enjoy what the park has to offer. We love the rock formations. The views that you get um, are just amazing and stunning. And there, you know, you're not driving a million miles to get to each thing. Not that I don't love Yellowstone. Loved Yellowstone. But it seemed like a lot of it was driving and driving and driving to the next place to get to the next one. You know, it just felt like it was 30 minutes before you can get to the next thing. Joshua Tree, it seems like you can just drive five minutes and be at something really cool, 10 minutes to something else. So the park, the park is huge, don't get me wrong, but it was just really neat to be able to get to things a lot quicker than other parks. And definitely the traffic and crowds are a whole lot less than let's say Yosemite or Sequoia. Um, so it was, Definitely a great trip going to there one last time to see those rock formations. So it was just so cool to be able to enjoy that place because that's we live really close to Joshua Tree. I think it's maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour away. I, 45 minutes if I'm driving fast. But anyway, so it was a great day of Joshua Tree. And then there were are places that we would we just love to eat one last time. Um, there are some restaurants that we definitely love, some Tex-Mex kind of things. Um, we're a little bummed out that In-N-Out is, you know, a Southern California thing. I think they're trying to branch out, but we definitely need to hit up In-N-Out one last time. If for those of you that don't know, In-N-Out is a burger place. Oh my gosh. That's the, one of the best burgers. Um, I feel like they're a little on the small side. So we, I normally definitely get a double, but double, double and fries, just amazing. And I, we have to 
we have some time left to be able to go there. So it's really cool as we sit down and you know put up put our list and go check, got that done. And then as we look forward to Tennessee, we're definitely looking forward to fall, you know, being able to see those fall trees. Around Southern California, you might see pockets of trees that turn color, but we're looking forward to seeing just, you know, forests of fall trees. Um, we definitely love the fact that there's rivers and lakes just everywhere you go. And the one thing that our family just is very excited is just to see the greenery. Southern California, we, we're having drought issues and everything is brown and Funny thing to today, it's kind of rainy today, but normally it's just brown and, and dirt and sand. And we're looking forward to, when we always go to Tennessee, we're always amazed how green everything is. And we know that's going to be a lot of rain, but um, we're looking forward to the seasons, you know, having four distinct seasons rather than here in California, it kind of goes from summer right into like winter and then winter back into summer. I, the the temperature just fluctuates real crazy like but so guys as we are you know getting ready to go those are the kind of you know nostalgic things that we are looking to do which we've done already and as we're counting down going whoa we're in the teens i think today is 17 or 18 um you know, where those days become so much more important, you know, do, do we have a chance to do this and have a chance to do this? So um, a lot of these days are going real quick because we're packing and taking care of business and emails and phone calls and things to just get done. So we know that it's going to go really quick. So uh, thank you guys so much for um, watching and subscribing. I am just definitely excited and passionate about this journey that we're about to take. So hopefully that comes out in, in my videos. So I appreciate those of you that have been watching. Um, I, it just feels good to be able to know that people are on this journey with us. Thank you guys so much for your encouragement and prayers because we're going to need it. Okay. So definitely if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell because we definitely have this next part coming up that's going to be really exciting, and I hope that you're along this journey with us, okay? All right, guys, I will see you in my next video.